What's up guys? So I am a used car dealer and I'm at a used car dealer auction today. And what I want to talk to you about today is I've been getting a lot of questions on my channel about why a vehicle ends up at, a, at an auction. So we're going to talk about the, that today. Another thing I've been uh, asked a lot about is the prices of these trucks. And uh, in the last video I did, um, a lot of you seemed to like that I was giving you the prices and watching some of these vehicles go through auction. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go through, pick out a few trucks um, before the auction. I'll show them to you on the video. And then at the end of this video, um, I'll actually show you them running through the auction and show you what they bring. So that's what we're gonna do today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, uh, leave me a comment down in the uh, comment section, ask me a question. Um, because what we're actually doing at the end of the week is uh, my wife is going through all the comments. She's uh, picking out some of the most common questions, uh, going through and picking out some unique questions. And we're going to do a question and answer um, segment probably uh, tomorrow from when you're watching this. So uh, like I said, subscribe to the channel, like it, and um, here we go. So cars can come to auction from a few different places. One place that you'll see cars come from are actually franchise dealers. And how these dealers get these cars and why they send them to auction is because they're trade-ins. So when a franchise dealer, a new car dealer store, gets a, a trade-in, say like something like this 2016 um, Silverado, and it's got 160,000 miles, obviously they don't want to sell that retail on their new car store so what they'll do is they'll send it to auction so whenever you go buy a new car and you trade in your car if they don't want to keep it then they'll actually send it to auction dump it and then they don't have to worry about it they don't have to worry about fixing it they don't have to worry about any kind of customer problems or whatever because they want to sell the best of the best and that truck with 160,000 is not the best of the best so they'll actually end up sending it here to auction so another type of car that will come here to these auctions are repossessions and a lot of times you'll see repossessions come from banks, but in the case of these cars that are actually behind me right now, they come from a buy here, pay here dealer. And a buy here, pay here dealer is just one of these dealers you see on the side of the highway where you can put a down payment of $1,000. Well, it's not $1,000 anymore. It's what, 2,500 bucks, crazy money. Um, and then make payments on a car as you go and you're able to buy it that way. A lot of times people who don't have good credit or only have a little bit of money that they can put into a car at one particular time go this route and a lot of times maybe they aren't the best at uh, paying their bills so whenever they do not pay their bills then the buy here pay here company the dealership that's uh, loaning this money to this customer will go get the car and a lot of times these um i mean here's one right here a lot of times these vehicles that uh are actually repoed aren't in the best of shape when they get them back in most cases they don't even want to sell them again on their dealership after that so they'll send it to auction and dump it so that's what that's where actually this whole line of cars right here is all repos that's how these cars got here all right so the last type of dealer that's actually going to send a car to auction at least at this auction right here is going to be your small independent dealers your your bob's used cars whatever you see on the um, side of the road they have uh, car lots that have 10 20 cars on them, whatever and there are a few different reasons why one of these small independent dealers might send a car to auction one is the easy one it's junk they bought it they shouldn't have i do it all the time all these other car dealers do it and if we buy a car the transmission's bad and we ended up we uh it's, it's not worth it for us to put a transmission in we'll send it to auction and we'll just take our lumps and get rid of it um, and another case of why these small independent dealers is if one, they're on floor plan and um, these cars are sitting for a long time and they're not able to sell them. Now I'm not in, on a floor plan, so I can have a car sit for three months, six months, whatever. It doesn't cost me anything extra other than the cost for having it sitting there, like gas for test drives. Um, <laughs> converters always go bad if they sit there forever. Um, but these dealers that are on floor plans and they actually owe interest on these cars if they have a car say something like this right here is a good example because this car looks great they should be able to sell it on their lot but because it's been sitting for so long and the demand's down right now 
if they can't sell it, then their interest payments keep stacking up. And I've got a few buddies that are on floor plans and they tell me at that 60 day point, at that 90 day point, then it starts getting absolutely ridiculous how much they owe on these cars. So they have to, they have to take a loss and be able to ship it to auction even if they don't want to, even if it's a good car because they're not selling it because these interest payments rack up. So I never buy from independent dealers because I always just take the safe route of saying, hey, this is a bad car. So I'm not going to try to buy it and try to sell it on my lot because they couldn't sell it on their lot or there's a repair on it that they didn't want to uh, do on it. But that's not always the case. Sometimes it's just that their interest charges are, are racking up on them and they have, to, they have to dump because they have to get rid of this interest and try to roll that credit into another vehicle that maybe they can sell. All right, here's a truck that I think would be good to uh, check out. Not too new and not uh, crazy low mileage, just so we can get some prices on it. But it's a 2016 uh, Chevy Silverado. I haven't even looked inside of it. Let's see if it's maybe halfway clean. Yeah, it's not terrible. It's not great shape, so I wouldn't call it... Um, <laughs> yeah, I definitely wouldn't call it great, but it's it's not bad either. So this is... Uh, what did I say? So. 2016 Silverado with 175,000 miles. So we'll check it when it goes to the auction. All right, here's another Silverado. It's a 2015, it's a Z71. And it's got 135,000 miles. Uh, it's not full crew cab, but it is extended cab, four doors. Let's see. Uh, and this one's actually a little bit cleaner than the, than the last one. So let's take a look at it. All right, here's a good one. It's a, a 2016 Chevy Duramax. Um, it's the high country edition. Looks good. I like the look of it. So we'll we'll check it out. I oh, can't remember if I said the miles. Miles was 160 on it. Very clean, looks good. And this one has no cat. So factor that in whenever you're looking at the price on this one when you see it go through auction. They will announce that as it's going through. It's gonna be obvious because you'll be able to hear it, but um, good looking truck, 2016 Duramax, 160,000 miles. All right, here's a lifted F-150. It's a 15, it's got 168,000 miles. Looks good. It says as is on it, so it's probably gonna bring a little bit less money than what it should. We don't know what the issue is, but the auction's not going to guarantee the motor and the transmission in it. Um, looks great though. It's an FX4. I said a 115, I mean, it's a 2015, it's got 168,000 miles on it, F-150. So here's one I'm actually curious about. We just did this uh, video the other day where we went to new car dealer lots and we saw those Jeep Cherokees and they're 2022s, 2023s, and I, I think they were actually 2023s, but they were selling them for $70,000. So this is a 2018 with 91,000 miles. I want to see the comparison. Obviously it's not a new car and it's years old, but just to see how far a car can depreciate in just a few years. Um, it's gonna be interesting seeing the difference between a $70,000 vehicle and then five years old. Um, this, is, this is what it is now. So, so I'm, I'm ready to see the price on this. So for those of you that are new to the channel, I'm gonna show you how this is gonna work out before um, the auction gets started because when the auction gets started there's two auctioneers in here you will not be able to hear me uh, but cars will come in through this lane right here and this is a two-lane auction so this is one of the lanes they'll run down this aisle right here there'll be an auctioneer up there um, auctioning the cars they'll be uh, saying a bunch of words you won't be able to understand probably in the video but then there's another lane that actually comes through right here and there'll be another auctioneer up there on that podium um, and all the dealers will be standing right here in the middle trying to bid on these vehicles. But like I said, when, when we get into the uh, action right here, you won't be able to hear me. I'll try to narrate as much as I can when the cars are coming through, but uh, most likely you're not gonna be able to hear. And that's cool. <laughs> all right real quick i'll go over some prices with you guys of the trucks that i checked out before the auction um the 2015 silverado with 135,000 miles 
Christ in here to think while his smiles are over. That is one good looking truck. He had a It sold for $16,200. Um, and I'll probably drop some images of these vehicles as I'm talking about them too. Um, the 2018 Jeep Cherokee uh, with 91,000 miles. Don't buy it for 19400 dollars The 2016 Silverado with 175,000 miles. It sold for sixteen thousand four hundred dollars. Um, the two thousand fifteen F one fifty with one hundred sixty one thousand one hundred sixty eight thousand miles. Sorry. <laughs> Um, it was put on a phone call for 6800 bucks. And real quick, those of you who don't know what a phone call is, it means that it ran through the auction. There were bids on it, um, but the highest bid was not as much as the seller wanted for it. So that means they're going to go back after the auction and try to put the deal together. So on this truck, I mean, they're not they're not even close on this truck. It only brought 6800 bucks. The seller probably wants ten, twelve thousand dollars $12,000 for it. They're probably just going to instant no-sell that, but... Um, Let's say the seller wanted seventy five hundred bucks and it only brought sixty eight hundred bucks. The auction company's going to call them and say, "Hey, it only brought sixty eight hundred bucks. Can you sell it for seven grand?" They're just going to try to put the uh, the deal together. That's what a phone call means. That's what if bid means. Um, and last one, the two thousand sixteen Duramax with one hundred sixty thousand miles. Oh, look at that one sixty one sixteen miles. Here we go.
brought thirty thousand dollars and it was put on an if it's or on a phone call it's not even there's no way it's even close that's probably they probably want forty forty five thousand dollars easy auction still going on uh you might be able to hear it through the speaker if you can i'm sorry uh but um i got four myself so i'm gonna go in here and pay for them and uh get back to the shop all right auction's done and it's raining why is it always raining when i'm doing one of these auction videos outside um anyway thanks for watching guys and uh any questions you have about to get ran over um any questions that you have please leave them down in the comments like i said we're going to go through all of those and uh pick out some for the question and answer segment we're going to do tomorrow so look out for that and uh, please like the video and subscribe to the channel and thank you so much for all your support it really means the world to us me my wife uh, my son Uh, from the bottom of my heart thank you guys i've been opened up to some opportunities that i never would have gotten to and uh, all that stuff's coming up but uh just like i said thank you for uh subbing to the channel and um got more of this coming up for you thanks